Hi, this is Nasty Nate, partnered up with JB's World to bring you yet another YouTube AR-15 cleaning video. First step on this, I'll show you everything I have here. Starting with an AR-15, one piece cleaning rod, a bronze jag, a bore brush, M16 brush, some cleaning patches, oil, and solvent. I also have my trusty pink towel. I got it from your mom's house. And a cell phone because JB keeps texting me to bother me while I try to do this. So, with that said, here we go. First step, take the rifle, inspect it, make sure that it's not loaded. You can see magazine is out, chamber is open, it's empty. So now I'm gonna separate the upper and lower receivers. Separate the upper and lower receivers. First push these uh, pins out. And they'll come right apart. I'll take the lower receiver, clean that second. Pull the bolt out of the upper. Clean that later, charging handle. So now I have my upper receiver and I'm ready to start cleaning it. So the first step I do is with the jag on my one piece cleaning rod. Different people will debate whether they like a one piece cleaning rod or a boar snake or a three piece rod. But I like the one piece because I feel like I can really feel all the dirt and grime that's in there. So I'm gonna take this patch spray with a little bit of solvent and run it down the barrel. So you can see it comes out, it's already picked up some carbon, some dirt and grime. So I'll pull this back through and do it one more time. The solvent soaked pack got some solvent in the barrel. I'm going to switch from the jag over to a brush. This is a bronze brush. It's made for the chambering that I'm using. This is a 223. I'm going to push it through. It's important when you're using these brushes that you push it through with one clean sweep and that you don't change directions halfway down the barrel because you'll foul the right. And I'll switch back over to the jag. Pretty painless process. Put a fresh patch on. And this time instead of solvent, I'll soak the patch with oil. Any good gun oil will do. And I'll send this through. And I'll run these oil soaked patches through the barrel until they come out free of any discolor, any carbon buildup. You can see that's coming through on the first pass after that solvent and the brush has gone through. I finished running the patches down the barrel. I've got a nice light coating of oil in the barrel and it's free of all the carbon residue that was built up in it. And now I'm going to focus on the inside of the upper receiver. So I'm going to take my solvent, spray a little bit right inside. And then I'll go for the brush and scrub it out. After you're done scrubbing, I just take a plain old paper towel and soak up any residue of the solvent that may be left in it so that I can apply a coat, a light coat of oil. To disassemble the bolt, start by pulling this pin out. And I like to use my little hooky tool to get it. Pull that out. Now the striker itself will come out. Turn this sideways. It comes out on a 90 degree angle. And you can pull the bolt face out. And then the last the smallest pin comes out. 
for the extractor. Make sure you don't lose this tiny little spring or you won't be able to extract the shells after you fire them. So all of these, all of these pieces are going to get solvent, scrubbed with the brush, and then a light coating of oil. So now to reassemble, we use plenty of oil in the critical areas. Put a couple drops at this hinge point. Liberally oil this pin so that it won't get stuck, so that it won't prevent your cases from extracting. Push that in. Oil the outside. This pretty heavily. Put it back into the bolt carrier. Line it up. Oil the firing pin. And finally, the retainer. So there you have the bolt reassembled. Final step, touch of oil on these guide rails so it slides nice and free inside the receiver. Now we're going to look at the lower receiver. I'm not going to do a whole lot here. I'm just going to put a little bit of solvent here on the trigger group, scrub it down, free up any carbon, make sure that everything's functioning properly.